there, Denise says, guess what day it is? Okay, obviously it's hump day, but it is the day that Walgreens dropped their clearance to 70%. So yes, run to your nearest Walgreens and let's go ahead and get started and see what they have. All right, there, Denise says, so I don't think anyone else needs any more gift sets, but as you can see, they have these wet and wild gift sets. Now I'm kind of on the fence about wet and wild, and that's just because you can find it so inexpensively at Dollar Tree. And I do like these lipsticks, I'm not going to lie, but their mascara and just different things, I don't know about it. Let me know what you guys think. But these are the Nicole Miller fragrances. I've never tried these at all, but I did hear great raving reviews about this Love, Beauty, and Planet. So if you tried it, let me know what you think about it. It's a nice little travel kit. Um, I don't know if it'll work for TSA. And there I go dropping things again. Guys, please don't get me about this. <laughs> so these are the nail polish kits as well as some hollow glass. And this is LA Colors. And once again, I am on the fence about LA Colors. I mean, it's very inexpensive, yes, but to me, it just doesn't have a great color payoff. And their lip glosses are okay, but not so much to me with their makeup. Now, this is the jackpot. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Okay, I definitely hope this is on sale because I do want this eyelash kit. And honestly, guys, this will be the time that I clear it out because I love wearing eyelashes. I know some people are not down with the falsies. It's okay. It's not for you, but I love it. Now with this brand, I'm not sure about this gift set and I'm thinking that it may not be that great just because they had a lot of them. This one does come with the matching socks, but as you can see, they have this gift set. It kind of reminds me of like Victoria's Secret. I did not spray it, so I don't know if it smells good or not. Let me know if you tried this before. Now on some of the things, I know you guys ask about the prices a lot. This one is $5 with 75% off. And so those are like some little bath beads. And then of course they have the infamous bath bombs. So this is like the big craze right now. So it's $8 with 75% off. And then as you can see, it's just some more little knickknacks on here. I think these are like little bath spritzers and everything. I just did not know that much was needed for a shower. But don't these gift sets remind you of Victoria's Secret or is it just me? Nonetheless, I am going to leave these right where they're at. Now, I think I'm going to leave these as well, the Wet n Wild um, actual makeup brushes. Even though it's a 10 piece, once again, I've received so many makeup brushes and I just don't think it's worth it. However, that um, matte set, I think it is worth it. So I may do that. Now, of course, with the eyeshadow palettes, it is not my zhuzh, however, I do think that this is great for a beginner makeup artist or even for kids or teenagers. So it's $15 with 75% off and you can't beat that, especially for someone who is learning makeup. Now, if I was going to get any brush sets, it wouldn't be the Wet n Wild, it would be the Real Techniques. To me, they're just better. And it's $20 with 75% off and that one actually does come with a beauty blender. So this one is the travel kit, same. This one is $15, so it's $5 cheaper, but it doesn't come with the beauty blender. But I don't know, what do you think? And these are just little beauty blenders. So I think these are great, especially for makeup artists or if you have like a women's event coming up. There's a lot of women who love the beauty blenders. I am definitely going to leave this exclamation right where it's at. Now, these are some more eco tools. I've tried a few of their brushes before. I still rather have the real techniques over these, but guys, with some of the prices I'm trying to point out, so just see if it has $10 on it, $15 on it, it is 75% off. And once again, these were $259 with 75% off. So these are just like little mini brushes that you can have. But as you can see, my store has a lot of little trinkets and knickknacks and bath bombs. Now this is interesting. I have no idea what it is. A mini Tango Blaster. Hmm. Okay, who knows? Have you guys tried one of those? Because I have not. 
And these are just some little scrunchies and different bows. So let's go ahead and go over to the next section and see what we can find. But what was your favorite item here? What was the best deal for the 70% off? Let me know. All right, Thrifty Nisa, so I was told that toys are included in the 70% off sale as well. So one of the customers stated that she comes here and she gets her toys, especially when they go on markdown, and then she creates little baskets. And with Easter coming up, this is the perfect time for her to stock up on toys and make Easter baskets to sell around town. So I thought that that was an amazing idea. So if you do have children, I know some people do not want to keep these toys in their toy closet or gift closet for the rest of the year. And I completely understand that. But you can, of course, make your own Easter baskets this year. I think that's a great idea. Now, I am going to actually zoom in on some of the pricing, but the toys, no toy in the um, section that I'm looking in was over $10 on there. So this one is $4.99. And then, of course, it's going to be 70% off. And what I like about this is they had boy toys, they had girl toys. Now this, she actually wanted a lot of them because she said it will work out well with the baskets. And this only totals $1.25 and it's a styling head. And most girls love to do hair and do different things. So as you can see, some of the toys, I was not quite sure exactly what they were. Um, and I think that's just because guys, I don't have children. So I'm sorry if I get things wrong, but I just don't. So I thought this was very nice. It was 50% off, which the tag is really 70% off. And it was a princess, a Disney princess kit. And they just had toys all up and down the aisle. So I'm just going to show you some of the toys that I thought were super cool and just different things. This is a Tonka truck. Let me know, guys, do children even still play with toys now? Because I know a lot of parents that have cell phones for their kids. So I don't know. This is a slime do-it-yourself set. I thought that that would be a nice gift. I don't know if I was a kid, I would want to probably play with the lime set. But then also in my generation, I play with Etch-A-Sketch. So am I really telling how old I am right now? Do you guys remember Etch-A-Sketch? All right. I digress. Let's go ahead and get back to it. So on here, um, as you can see, they had Play-Doh. They had Paw Patrol, which I heard that is very popular right now. So, but the Play-Doh, you could actually, they did not have the Play-Doh on sale, but then they even had like little baby or toddler toys. And I think this is still what toddlers play with. Correct me if I'm wrong, but pretty much you can put the CDs in there. And like I said, nothing guys was over $10 at all. So this was the Disney princess kit. And I think these are really good, especially when you're traveling on the road, the activity set, and it was $9.99. So on here, if you guys, you will let me know if I needed to zoom in on the pricing a little more, but this My Little Pony was $4.99. Now, it was not every toy set by no means at all. It was the ones that had the stickers and the tags on there. So they did have this remote control Pluto, and you can see it's two plus. It was $4.99 with 70% off. So I'm just going to keep on going and show you just a few more I hope this is Elsa. I hear everyone talk about Frozen. I've never seen Frozen 1 or 2, but I'm going to go on a whim and say this is Miss Elsa because everyone talks about her long hair. But they even had Elsa, and I don't know who the girl is next to her, so let me know, guys, in the comments. Help me out, okay? Please do. Now, they also had some little Lego sets for little boys that love to play with Legos. Um... They had just a lot of different things. Now, I did not question if these were 70% off because they were already clearance. So I'm not quite sure. I didn't ask. I was not going to purchase any of these toys. But as you can see, they do have the clearance sticker already where they're marked down. And they had some Barbies where this Barbie was $4.99. So maybe it was. Check your store. Let me know in the comments below. But since they were baby items and they were already on clearance, I didn't know. Now, of course, they also had some more little plush animals and these were $9.99 or $6.49 on there. So 
with these plush, I'm not a big fan of them just because I'm just not. But the lady explained to me that a lot of the teddy bear ones do work great for Valentine's Day. So I am going to show you this teddy bear one, but there were not much. And I guess maybe you can take these characters and use them for different baskets as well. But as you can see, this is the cute little fuzzy teddy bear. So what was the great deal? And let's go to the next section. All right, so I think this was the stocking stuffer section just because it has like a lot of little random knickknacks such as this chess set. Um, and then the prices were all over the place. So if I don't really just zone in on the pricing, that's just because it was all over the place. But some of these gifts, I just don't know who would want these or even to put them in a closet. Um, but this is the pocket tool set. And it had like a lot of different things. I thought this was pretty cool. A stress ball that looked like a basketball. And I'm not sure what this little creature was, but it was another stress ball. Um, now this is my type of party, make it rain. And it does come with the fake money. I don't know, am I a little bit crazy for actually wanting that? But they had beer cards and just a lot of different random things that more than likely I'll probably just leave and not pick up. Now this buzzer button, I guess it's like the too easy button, not quite sure. But once again, this is just random. If you want to buy it, I don't think that I would buy it, but let me know. Like, do you guys like little random gifts like this? I honestly don't even like when I receive them as gifts, but hey, who knows? Now this was a luggage tag that I thought was nice, especially for a person that travels. And then this was like a book light. I think that's exactly what it was, where you can read at night or in a dark area and you can just attach it to the page. So nice little thing. Now this was weird. It's almost shaped like a wonton, but it was a coin purse. So uh, way different from me. I mean, excuse me, for me. And once again, I think I'm over just the gift sets, guys. So I did not want to see any more gift sets anything at all um, to match that at all. So which one was your favorite item in this section thus far? These are just some slippers. And once again, they have a lot of the Christmas decor. I'm not going to really show you that just because I think everyone is tired of the Christmas decor at this point, right? Can we all agree? Let's touch down or write down in the comments, agree. So these were just some holiday collections. I never heard of this brand. Now the trinket trays were $12.99 and it came with two in um, a pack, which I thought those were nice just to give like for an older woman or a more mature woman, um, you know, so she could put her rings and different things in there. Now this was just something that you put a gift card in and it didn't even have a notebook. This is really, really cool. How cute is that where you can get a travel mug and the earmuff set that match? And maybe if you gave that out, you, they can still use it now. This was $12.99, which was a confetti pouch. Yeah, that's going to stay there. This ink pen set, once again, I thought that was great. Now, with this whole little section right here, I think it works out well because you can put different things together. These are some nice little slipper socks, shaving kits, and then just a lot of little random things. With the candles, I was just not sold on these white oak candles, but one of the things that I was definitely looking at was this nice black and white laundry bag. So I thought this was nice. If nothing else, the color payoff is nice. Almost every female loves the black and white color palette. So once again, you can put it together with more gifts. Now this Yankee candle set, oh my gosh, who loves Yankee candles? I know I do, and I would burn those all year round. Like I could care less that it smells like Christmas or pine tree. I don't care. I like it. So these are just some more candles. And then these were just some random necklaces and bracelets and earrings, which I'm going to have to pass on these. Now I was looking to see if it had the price on it, but it did not have the price but I don't know. I may go with this pearl set. But once again, I think jewelry is so inexpensive that you can find. This $14.99 scarf set, once again, is 70% off. 
And I think this works well for any woman. You can still give that out during Mother's Day. You can give it to a just because, leave it for a coworker. And then these cozy socks are just amazing um, on there. I want to say that they were like $7.99, but I don't remember, guys. I'm sorry. And then they also had the bathroom rug robes not rugs whoa they had the bathroom robe so those were small and medium and this is just a quick pan so you can see we still were a little bit stacked very much so and like i said i'm not going to show you the christmas stuff at all but i'm going to get my things and we're going to go over to the other side and then just see but let me know did you guys like anything that I showed you thus far and what item do you think that I should get comment below let me know all right let's go over all right for all my Starbucks lovers there are some more gift sets on here from Starbucks so I'm not getting any gift sets this brownie skillet kit I thought that was pretty cool but I am just over the candy and the food gift sets am i the only one who feels this way let me know but they did have the pez sets um i have not seen those since i was a kid but these are great little candy sets however i've picked up so much of this stuff i am going to leave it so whoever wants it please come get it but as you can see it's chocolate and candy canes and christmas treats and oh my gosh it's so much stuff um but i just do not want it so are you guys over the christmas candy yet or is it just me but nonetheless there were a few things that did catch my attention and that was this oreo dunking set and I know it's very, very cheesy, but I thought that would be cool. I don't know if it like launches the Oreos in there. I don't know. But I thought that that would be a nice little gift for 70% off. And as you can see that they have already started clearing some of the racks on here. So I'm going to grab my items and head to checkout. And then I'll let you know exactly what I have purchased as well as show you my receipt. But let me know what store would you like for me to go to next? Comment below. Thanks. All right, so I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of some of the people that were already in the store purchasing the toys. So none of the toys were actually over like $3.99 at all. I think one was the drum set that I purchased. However, I could not believe how people were clearing the shelves, but hey, you know what? This is a great deal. Head to your nearest Walgreens. And then as you can see, these are my two bags. They had to put them in trash bags. So yeah, it couldn't even fit in there. And then wait right, for guys, it. So I know you guys always ask me for my receipts. So you see the drum set that I showed you was $5.99. Most of the the styling kits, which was the Barbie, it was $2.99. The kitchen appliances was like $2.99 or $2.09. So you cannot beat this. Um, I'll just let y'all see. My total ended up coming up to like $120. I'll let you see. But you can see the Ardell lashes, they were $4.99, which I got because there were four of them in there. And so that's like a dollar per lash and it gave you glue which if anybody that wears false lashes, you know that that is a spectacular deal. So just to give you the men's slippers were 389, the pin set. So it was 70% off the laundry bags were 299. And you see my total was 110 um, with tax on here. So this is my receipt, not bad for 70% off. Guys, it was so many people, as you can see in here in the video, it's not going to last at our stores to like 90%, so I would go right now. Um, but if you guys can do me a favor, please let me know what store I should go to next. Please comment down below that I can share with you. Like, comment, subscribe. Was this a deal? What was your favorite? And what store should I go to next? Talk to you later. Bye.